Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and in the background is an airfoil that a user was asking how to make. My friends, I've got an idea, so let's get cracking. All right, so Andrew Dixon showed the idea right here, but I'm going to just make it into a video quick, so maybe it'll make more sense. All right, so first, sign in with Google, and boom, hit Create New Design. To find that shape, we need to go to Featured Shapes. And in Featured, we are going to use the Extrusion. On the extrusion, you've got these handles. So I'm going to stretch this out. I'm going to take this one over here and stretch it and rotate it so that it gives me my point. And then I'm going to bring this one up in and pull this down so that we start to get that design that we want. I need to pull this in so I can see both the handles. Now I've got my point in my point and I can bring this up and nudge it to get that airfoil that we're trying to create. Notice you can adjust these little handles as much as you need to get it the exact way and you may notice that mine's upside down but watch this we'll fix that in one quick step. First I'm stretching it to the exact size I want and then I'm simply gonna hit flip and boom you can see that mine is oriented the way the one is in the picture I'm going to adjust this a few degrees as well. And then here's the fun part. You can make it into all three pieces because you'll notice that this one has the little sides and the middle. And we'll do that by just going back in here. There will be the one. I'm going to do Control D to duplicate it. I'm going to drop it on top of the other one. So I just clicked the work plane, put it on top. When I hit letter D, there is the new piece that's going to be in the middle. Stretch it out to whatever length I want. And then here's another magic skill. We're going to do Alt, Shift, and Squish. What that does is it shrinks it in every direction at the same time. I'm going to grab the two of them, do a line. I'm going to make the one underneath the master, and I'm going to say Middle, Middle. It did not line up quite the way I want, but I'm going to switch to a smaller grid and let's just nudge it into place. And I'm gonna set my work plane down so I don't have to see the orange. And then also, just so it looks a little cooler, I'm gonna make it two colors so it's easier to differentiate. So I can nudge this forward just using the black handle. Notice if you use the white handle, it goes two directions at once. If you use the black handle, it only does one. When we did Alt Shift, it moved up as well. So we're just going to turn the work plane on and drop that piece to the bottom. And then do Control D to duplicate again, set the work plane on top, and hit D. And boom, your airfoil work plane back on the ground is created. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And, just like that, you have created a pretty sweet little airfoil. Of course, you have lots of room to make yours more perfect, and you can add this to all kinds of different designs, but there you can see the technique of how you would use the sweet little extrusion. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the movie, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.